Hey there YouTube, in today's video we take my project 1993 Jaguar XJS, take it to the autocross course. Real quick rundown for those of you who might not be familiar with this car. I have engine swapped it to a small block Chevy. It's got a YN 144 blower on it. The engine's basically a stock four bolt main Chevy Vortec motor out of a truck. I rebuilt it. Uh, stock bottom end other than the fact that the ring gaps and bearing clearances are opened up to be a little more favorable to boost. Got a LT4 hot cam in it. The heads have been modified for valve lift. They've also been ported on the exhaust side. Now this engine combination has been proven time and time again to make 400 horsepower normally aspirated. I'm running six pounds of boost on it, which theoretically should give me about 600, 630 at the flywheel. The car's got bone stock, soft suspension. Now this car making a respectable amount of horsepower, but on bone stock suspensions, not exactly the best car for autocross, but you know what? Autocross is one of those sports. It's open to everyone, whether you got a grocery getter or a highly modified car. It is a ton of fun, and a great group of guys are running the event. My very first trip around the autocross was a complete disaster. I got lost, started heading for the wrong side of the cone, realized what I was doing, slammed on the brakes, turned the wheel left. Yeah. It understeered, flooded and stalled out. Didn't want to start back up again, took me a minute to get it started back up again. Pretty embarrassing, but got back out, got around the rest of the course, come back out. And then my second time, all I wanted to do is I wanted to get around the course without getting lost. And I drove slow. I got I, I think a grandma in a Buick could outrun me. It was slow. It was like a 90 second lap time around this course. That the fastest people, they were running very low 70s on it. And that was 90 seconds around the course my second time around. But I made it around the course without getting lost, so that's a win. My third time around the course went much better. I didn't get lost, and I knocked 10 seconds off of my lap time, despite getting on the throttle a little too hard coming out of the corner into the transition. Blew the back tires off and almost spun the car, but still I managed to knock 10 seconds off of my lap time from the second round. After that, I was shaving three to four seconds off every time I went around this course. Here's my fastest lap now.
even at the end, there was a lot of room for improvement as far as a driver. Every single time after that that I went around the course, I was knocking three to four seconds off by lap time every single time. There was a guy that was staged behind me in a Dodge Charger with 6.1 liter SRT package. We were trading back and forth of our fastest laps with each other. He did end up beating me out on the, on the last one. He ran a lap that was about one and a half seconds faster than my fastest lap. And I still had a lot of room to make improvement as a driver. You know, the soft stock suspension was not exactly uh, confidence inspiring on a handling course, but the car was a ton of fun. It performed flawlessly. It didn't break. And that's a win in my book. I really look forward to doing more of these events in the future. I also plan on taking this car to the drag strip here soon and seeing what I'll do there. Those of you guys that are here mostly for my truck repair videos, don't worry, we're gonna keep doing those too. And I hope you guys enjoy this. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe down below. Thank you, have a good day.